So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video we're going to be breaking down the GIFT Director's Cut trailer that we got yesterday from Triarch, and boy oh boy was this a tasty trailer. It was amazing to see all the children like that in the house. There's a few details that you probably didn't spot, so what we're going to do is we're going to break down this trailer and show you guys some of the things you didn't know and explain something which is very, very crucial. Now to start things off, we see the original Nikolai in the basement of the house, the soul of the 1.0 Nikolai when he then transforms into his child self and you see Dr. Monty nod at him a sort of acknowledgement that right we finally have the last child here all the children are now safe within the house and then you see Dr. Monty nod at him before leaving and this is great because as the original story has been going on and we've been killing all the 1.0 versions this is exactly what it looks like it seems that the souls travel through the ether arrive through the portal into the teleporter area of the basement and from there they transform into the children and it's from that point the young Nikolai seems to explore around the house a tiny bit and this is something which we've not seen someone do before which I think is extremely interesting and he opens the door just like Dr. Monty does in the cutscene to reveal young Richtofen, Dempsey, Takio and Samantha. Thinking back to a cipher in Zetsubo where Samantha mentions about a new child that has arrived at the house called Eddie who doesn't like to share the toys this is probably the exact same entrance that he made where he's just stumbling around the house looking around for things and find Samantha in her room. Now there are still a few people confused and saying how the hell did Nikolai transform into a child and to explain this you've basically not been listening or paying too much attention to the storyline of Black Ops 3 Zombies but essentially killing off the 1.0 versions allows their soul to be safe forever in the house represented as a child where they have a new life and brand new memories that are completely unrelated to their original form. Now I love this next sequence as it's extremely extremely important we see Dr. Monty strolling across the grass in his perfect world and then we cut to a section where we see Richtofen and he looks angry he's shouting here but we can't hear anything that he's saying as Dr. Monty etches ever closer to the house it's where we see the other characters also arguing and shouting with Richtofen now, I believe this is the part which people have misunderstood or just neglected as the part of the trailer as this is one of the most important things as Jason Blundell once said the events between between the maps are just as important as what happens within the maps themselves. This is literally taking place just before the cutscene that we see for the intro revelations and it's all focused around the idea of the blood vials. We see Nikolai clenching and wandering looking down at his blood vials as this is what is being discussed by all the characters. You can agree with me or disagree but in my opinion what they're arguing about is the use of the blood vials because if we know and look about this in the story this has been a cycle that's going on for forever and ever and with the completion of each cycle Richtofen manages to send info to the next version of himself about this cycle eventually when that's repeated enough times there will be a version of Richtofen that will have enough information to break the cycle but until then they have to use the blood to keep themselves protected from being wiped out from existence they are arguing because they don't know if they want to use the blood or not because at this point they feel they have enough information to be able to break the cycle and the use of the blood is is the reason that the cycle will continue. The next shot afterwards where we see child Takio and the Takio 2.0 and they all look super super motivated and super determined to complete this mission and not have to use the blood because this is the last time this cycle is going to continue. And I mean how can you just not love Takio's determined face right there? And then we get some amazing sequences of gameplay from all of Revelations, which is amazing, but that's not what we want to focus on. We want to focus on the bits afterwards. And you notice all of our characters stood in the spawn room. Takio holding and looking at his blood vials. Dempsey and Nikolai looking pretty depressed at this point. Richtofen being at the forefront of the pack here, taking lead and drinking the blood. Now why, oh why, are the characters seemingly so sad? It's because they thought that this was going to be the end. The fact that they wouldn't have to drink the blood to protect themselves because at this point they could break the cycle. But remember, they have the blood in case they don't like where they end up as an insurance policy. So Richtofen at this point knew that this was going to fail and the only way to protect themselves was to take the blood. He's always had that blood and he made sure all the characters have that blood as a safety precaution because he felt guilty to towards the end of this mission that he needed to save the characters as well as himself. It seems that the crew only get one chance to break the cycle 
and everything has to be set in place. Just like everything has always been set in place, it is set in place in this particular universe when we're playing it. Perhaps along the way Richtofen told the crew that this would be the last time and that we would be able to break the cycle but something changed in him. And even he doesn't feel secure enough to go through the plan without consuming the blood. With that explanation it makes absolute perfect sense why the characters were arguing with each other at the start of the trailer and why they look so upset towards the end. They don't want to take the blood but they have no choice. They have to. After being sent back to premise that's where the cycle has started and another iteration begins where they try and break it by underthroning Monty and we know that's going to take place as we have a cipher from Dempsey which we believe to be a future version of Dempsey where the children will be safe but that isn't involving Dr. Monty keeping them safe. Because with the ending to Revelations it looks like all the children's souls were represented as toys within the summoning key along with Maxis and Sophia together they destroyed and got rid of the complete Apothecan race returning the world to the perfect world that it was. Yet at the end of this trailer all the children are down in the basement just like Maxis told them to do in the original Origins outro cutscene but this time there is no Dr. Maxis to guide them it's just Dr. Monty who seems to be a little bit helpless with the look he's giving them at the end here. And then this chilling chilling scene at the end with Samantha looking out of the basement window towards the atmosphere and all she can see is the summoning key floating there in space and I feel this is a very very touching shot of Treyarch to include as this is sort of representing her looking towards her dad which is now in the summoning key who used and sacrificed himself to save the universe and save her. Now here's the thing that confuses me we have that Dempsey cipher on Revelations talking about how uh, from a future Dempsey how he hopes that the actions from the previous universe don't come to bite him in the arse and how they're going to keep the children safe away from Doctor to Monty, is this trailer really representing the children as really being safe? That's something which I have no real idea because Monty does look quite shady throughout this entire trailer. He's very mute very very weird let me know what you guys are thinking down below in the comment section but if you enjoyed this breakdown be sure to give it a like rating i'll be bringing more videos very very soon talking about the black ops 3 story as time goes on but thank you for watching i'll catch you on another one very very soon another one